Dr. Doom has revealed himself on the island, and after taking the power of Pandora's box for himself, he's brought in his very own castle to carry out his plans. With the mysterious golden armor possessing the power of Pandora inching towards completion, to the return of Iron Man and the rest of this season's story leaked, we've got a lot of story to dig through. Consider using my creator code TLL the Reaper in the item shop to support me, and without further ado, let's dive into the depths of Latveria. With the launch of Absolute Doom, we're thrown directly into the middle of another war, and this time, it's between Hope and Doctor Doom. Hope, with the help of Magneto, recruited tons of superheroes from across the Marvel Universe to come to her aid and follow her into a battle to defeat Doom. On the other hand, Doom summoned the Raft, a high-tech prison keeping many powerful villains locked away. Now having all these villains here, he broke them out in order to join his side and help him conquer the island. As usual, our main quests are on the side of the good guys, helping Hope and Jones find a way to defeat Doctor Doom before his plans are complete. What plans you may ask? Well, to answer that question, we're going to have to fly over to the massive steaming tower in the mountains, the Forge. In here, we see lava spewing out of pipes, strange symbols and glyphs etched in stone, and an anvil sitting on the edge of a walkway. All questions will be answered soon, but for now we have to take it one step at a time to make sense of Doom's complicated plan for not only this island, but for the rest of the chapter. In the cinema, trailer for season 4, we watch as Doctor Doom approaches the now unearthed Pandora's box and opens its lid, absorbing all of its power. In game, you can head over to the box, and you'll find that it looks completely dead and drained. But that's not actually true. Doom's first voice lines of the season reveal that he wasn't actually able to take all of Pandora's energy. In order to do so, and to finally have complete control over the island, he needs to construct a powerful suit of armor so he can harness his new abilities, and reopen the box. Now enter the Forge, the giant steaming tower where Doom is crafting this new suit of armor. Similar to the pipeline last season, this will be the main plan that will be progressing throughout season 4 that we will be trying to stop. Believe it or not, we've already seen glimpses glimpses of this armor on the island. A couple posters scattered around Latveria show Doom in an unfamiliar outfit. Furthermore, Doom's Lego style doesn't show him in his normal base style, but instead, in this same golden armor. It is very likely that this is our first look at what the armor will look like when he's done building it, which simultaneously confirms that we don't end up stopping him from finishing its construction. He will end up finishing his work at the forge, wielding the power of Pandora's box and setting forth to reopen it likely for the finale of season 4. But even though these posters reveal it'll be complete, knowing what he's using to make his new armor with is extremely important to finding out how the events of this season will play out. Based on the mysterious glyphs and symbols surrounding the forge, we can find out that he's summoning the power of Mephisto, a devil from the Marvel Universe. Now, I'm not a Marvel nerd, so I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name, but I do think it's Mephisto. If I'm wrong, just bear with me here. In every iteration of Doctor Doom's character throughout decades of comics and movies, one thing is always the same. He lost his mother to Mephisto. This is the main thing that sets Doom down the path of becoming a villain, and his main motivation behind the things he does is to get her back from him. It seems like Doom's appearance in Fortnite is no different. With statues around the area of his mother and mosaics of her in the glass windows of Doom's castle, it seems like everything he's doing this season is to get her back, and of course, to open Pandora's box once more and conquer the island. With that being said though, him summoning Mephisto's power to construct his armor means it's much more than just using it out of spite. He's going to summon Mephisto himself to the island for Fortnite Mares. Think about it. Midway through the season, Halloween will roll around and we'll have our seasonal Halloween event, just in time for us to be unlocking Doctor Doom since he's the secret skin of this season. And when we do unlock him in classic secret skin style fashion, the rest of his cosmetics will be revealed, including his second style, which is the armor he's working on creating. That means that his armor will be complete by Fortnite Mares. And because it's made up of Mephisto's power, that makes it very possible that Doom ends up summoning him in October, revealing the theme for Fortnite Mares 2024. Now of course, exact details are unknown on the theming and possible storyline of Fortnite Mares, but based on the leaked pictures of Doom's armor, the timing of his release, and the ties to Mephisto, it all comes together perfectly to be the main aspect of this Halloween. But the thing is, this season ends on November 2nd. Last year, Fortnite Mares wrapped up on November 3rd, 
This heavily points to the fact that whatever the theme of Four Nightmares is this year is directly related to the live event at the end of the season. Four Nightmares will probably stretch until the end date of season four in the launch of our next season OG. If that's the case, then everything we just discovered about Doom's plan to summon Mephisto may be related to the live event at the end of the season. If Doom's motivation is to get his mother back, I wouldn't be surprised if he has two goals for crafting this armor. One, create it so we can summon Mephisto, but two, so we can withstand taking the rest of Pandora's box and can use that power to defeat his nemesis and take the island. Now that we've spent most of the video talking about Dr. Doom and his huge plan to save his mom, it's time we figure out what Hope and Jones are going to be up to in their efforts to stop Doom from conquering the map. In part one of the storyline quests, we do some recon at Doom's castle in around Latveria. When revisiting the sunken Pandora's box, we find a piece of Doom's mask. But this isn't actually his current mask. Instead, it's one of the box's tricks. If you compare the mask to Doom's right now, and then Doom's future armor, you can find that it looks a lot more like the armor he's currently building than the mask he's wearing. This is recognized by the Oracle when she says that it's an omen, which means a sign of something evil to come. The next couple quests aren't anything too crazy, mostly just damaging guards and giving the mask to Hope, but then we're tasked with listening in to Dr. Doom's logs. I'll play them at the end of the video, but to recap, they're all messages to his mom, talking about how the island reeks of imperfection, and he'll set this place to order. But he feels a vacant hunger, and he realizes it must be the box's influence on him. He explains that it would be unwise to attempt to use the box again without his armor being upgraded, but he won't have to wait long because it's nearing completion. After this, we collect a control chip from one of Doom's robot guards, and Hope chimes in to say she's got a lot to think about and we'll just catch up later. That's the end of the Are We Doomed quests, but the second part, which should be released by the time this video is live, is where things begin to ramp up. Since they aren't in game at the time of recording this, I can't actually play through them and describe what happens, but I can cover the voice lines since those are already in the files. The second part, named Heroes Assemble, starts off with us taking some orders from Captain Jones. He wants to try and find Doom, so it's less for Hope to worry about. The Oracle checks in on us in regards to our search for Doom, and Jones explains it's going just as she prophesies, horribly. The Oracle then gives us a very important prophecy, one that will come in handy with theorizing for the rest of the season, a feline ally a cunning plan, a victory hidden in defeat. After this, Hope sort of begs the Oracle for more and then retreats to go make some plans to take down Doom. The Oracle and Jones throw some remarks at each other, but then she says something interesting. You really want to kill the vibe? I'll start scrying your future. Now, this could just be a funny line about Jones backing off the prophecies, but it could also be an indication to something horrible to come in Jones's storyline. We'll make sure to keep this in the back of our heads for later, because it could end up meaning something huge. Since Fortnite messed up and accidentally included a ton of interaction dialogue for all the storyline quests this season, part of the Oracle's prophecy is already revealed. On screen, we can see that Shuri ends up paying Jones a visit, revealing who exactly the feline ally is. Shuri has a plan, which plays into the story going forward in part 3. That's all the dialogue for the quests we currently have in game. Now, there is a handful of leaks on the rest of the parts, but I think I'll save that for a separate video where we can all take some time and dive into a complete breakdown of the six Absolute Doom questlines, right up until the end of the season. Until then, I hope you all enjoyed this breakdown of Season 4 and its upcoming storyline, especially with Dr. Doom's plan. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to stay up to date with breakdowns, explanations, and all sorts of theories later this season. Consider using my code TLLTHEREAPER in the item shop if you'd like to support me. Until next time, keep it reaping! Hey pal, I've been looking for you. Oh, what is that? Looks like it belonged to you. him, Doom. A prototype? An omen. And also probably a prototype. You should take a closer look at it, Hope. Why me? Oh, it's part of the whole subject of a dark prophecy job description. <laughs> uh, been there. Mother, I am building my new kingdom. This place reeks of failure, of fault, of imperfection. But it will not be this way for long. I will set this place to order. I will make it perfect. My gentle guiding hand. Or by brutal fist of submission. I thought it would cheer me to gaze upon this crumbling monument. Instead, I feel nothing but vacant hunger. It must be the box. It is... Exhilarating, but it is also wild, chaotic, uncontrolled. You 
using the box again, without my armor appropriately upgraded, would be unwise. But I won't have long to wait. My work nears completion when all is reborn in my perfect image. I will never fail again. Doom's off somewhere building himself some new armor. He's using Doombot technology to control his army remotely. Well, on the bright side, I can stop worrying about how we're gonna defeat Doom for now, and focus on how to get to him first. I have a lot to think about. Let's catch up later. So, find anything interesting in there? Maybe something shipping manifest shaped? If Doom's building new armor, he has to be sending those armor materials to himself. If those shipments have a paper trail, we can use that information to find Doom. And if I find Doom, that's one less thing for Hope to worry about. I've been there. Leading reality's fearless defenders really weighs on a person. She's got a whole army of people on her side. Some of them are even Avengers. She's ready for this. She just needs to go for it. And maybe get some more future-seeing FaceTime with that prophetic water ghost friend of hers. You know, back in my day, we did this kind of thing with nothing but a banana and what I think was maybe an... Angry snow globe? <laughs> uh, how things change. How goes the search for the metal tyrant? Exactly as you foretold. Oof, that badly. I was embellishing for theatrical effect. You're back! Have you seen something new? Maybe a, a way of defeating Doom? I have seen something new. A feline ally. A cunning plan. A victory hidden in defeat. You don't know more? Please, I... I have to get this right. Oh, we've had this conversation so many times. My child, you have everything you need. Okay. If either of you need me, I'll be in my war room looking over our intel. Wow. Kind of a vibe killer. You really want to kill the vibe? I'll start scrying your future. Hey, you are basically a glass of water. I can...